Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good day. It's my pleasure to share the topic about the industrial edge. My topic name is Industrial Edge Creating Value Beyond Connectivity. Uh, first of all, let's start with some data from professional institution. Uh, TBR consider construction of the private 5G network will be speed up due to the deglobalization and the pandemic. The market size will reach the 5 billion US dollars in the year of 2025. Uh, another research from Analysis Mason shows the investment which the entity in different segments spent on the edge application will reach 6 billion US dollars in 2030. Industrial edge application requirement will be versed, especially in several segments such as manufacturing, transport, and uh, mannering. Uh, both of them indicate industrial edge will be the next blue ocean market in the ICT area. In the past two years, we received plenty of the private network requirement from different industry and country. The interesting, uh, sorry, the interest about the private network and the industrial edge became more and more strong. I think that's the, uh, good news for us. Now the question is, what kind of the private network or industrial edge can help to the end customer to expedite digital transformation? Okay, let's move on to the next page. Uh, industry 4.0 is transforming a set intensive industry by integrating and uh, digitalizing all processed and the system across the value chains for better efficiency flexibility and the agility to adapt quickly to changing customer and market needs. Uh, a key area identified for trans transformation is the operational technology, uh, it means OT environment. Option uh, OT provides the technology to monitor and control physical process system device and the infrastructure in a production environment. So we need to merge the IT, CT, and OT for accelerating Industry 4.0, transforming in edge side. Nokia's perspective is there are three phases in industrial edge uh, evolution. For each phase, the network trait should meet the industrial trait. The phase one is named as the connection enabler. In the phase one, the end customer need partner to help them connect the sensor, terminal, machines, and staff to private wireless network in order to simplify the management. Of course, the data sovereignty is significant. So the network need provide telecom levels connectivity. Uh, ability and uh, store the data locally and uh, securely, including user and the control plane. In the second phase, the data will be crucial. Uh, 75 of the all enterprise generate data will be processed at the edge side, including the structured and unstructured. So the network should cover the capability of the computing and the data monetization. In the third phase, industrial customer need killer app to help them develop the new value. The network will evolve into the CFN arrow. And now most of the install based private networks stay in the phase one. All the ecosystem vendors are pushing uh, evolution into phase two. Okay, the next, why we need all in edge? I think we have a general consensus that the vertical industry data is the gold stone. Master the data sovereignty means master the key to treasure. Extraordinarily in the edge, the data is the untapped treasure, which will be scrambled by the all competitors. So uh, if we want to establish the confidence the relationship with vertical customer, we should provide the solution to leave the data in the edge. In addition, 
unlock the value of the data need multi-technology fusion. We should provide a decoupling system architecture for killer app incubator. Just like the picture on the right, the industrial edge separated into five layers from bottom to top. They are the network layers, which provide cloud native 5G network, the foundation layer, which provide computing force and data management function, the app management layer, which provide automated application lifecycle management function, the ecosystem management layer, which provide ecosystem integration capability, and uh, the OM layer, which provide fault configuration, account, performance, and the security management. With the aforementioned features, it's not enough. We should enhance the solution to remove the barrier of the digital trans transformations. The private wireless network should possess the following characteristic. Number one, uh, simple simplicities. The network should have a low code and graphical interface for enterprise IT engineer, and it must be easy to maintain. Uh, number two, Applicabilities compatible with the legacy applications based on the Windows or Linux, one click migrations, compatible with the cloud native software in order to set up an open development ecosystem. Number three, security. The security seems to be the most important thing under any circumstance. We should provide whole security strategies for end user. Number four, reliability. It must be a reliable system for increase, increasing the productivity. With all above the feature, the industrial edge can take the responsibility of digital transformation for all the entities. Let me introduce the Nokia solution about private wireless network. The Nokia provide end-to-end -end private net, uh, wireless network solution named NDAC. It will be pre-integrated before delivery. After arriving at the site, the commissioning and the integration will be finished in 15 minutes. The solution also provides a uni API for bilateral data exchange. In terms of the vertical application, NDAC integrates a lot of Nokia and third parties application, offering growing models for, to customers. And in the Edge side, we developed industrial edge product named MXIE. Nokia Mission Critical Industry Edge is a future ready on-premise edge solution that accelerate the digital transformation of industry OT environment. It combined the agility and the simplicity of an edge as service model with high performance, resilient and secure edge architectures designed to meet the mission critical needs of a set intensive industrial environment. It provides light core function, including SMF, AMF, UDM, and so on. It also provides computing force and the Kubernetes development plot, a platform, easy for building up an open ecosystem for enterprise customers. Till now, more than 500 customers have chosen Nokia as the partner of private wireless network. Okay, let me show you two cases. The case one, port of the Seattle employed MXIE with 5G. The customer need to increase the efficiency of the port operation by simplify, uh, simplifying the end-to-end -end workflow and the better sharing data between different elements in the handling of the container from ship to yard to transport. They turn to Nokia to de de uh, deploy pri private wireless based on the 5G for the entire terminal. They use the MXIE Edge Cloud to not only host distribute function of the 5G core, 
but as well to handle terminal operating system data and their own industry specific application. Handle held device such as the recognized walk pad and uh, handheld terminals were used across the terminal for mobile walls communication and yard inventories application. Uh, this improved workflows by eliminating time consuming paperwork and create improved situation awareness for worker for increased safety. Case two, global durable and uh, electronic manufacturers, Aslink, deployed MXIE. Aslink recently selected Nokia and the Tur Turk Telecom to de uh, deploy Turkey's first 5G Redis private wireless network. The network will provide a persuasive, reliable, low latency coverage throughout the facility to enhance automated guide vehicle, yeah, AGV. Uh, with AGVs uh, used throughout the manufacturing process for components logistics, improved connectivity, view enhanced AGV speed, control and operational efficiency, the Nokia MXIE hosts the private wireless call function as well as specific application, such as high accuracy indoor positioning for real-time cell location tracking, as well as new uh, video analytics-based application for site safety and security. Uh, further petition use case include augment and VR, digital twins, uh, inventory control, safety and uh, facility management, quality control, high re resolution video for remote inspections and uh, facility wide voice and video communications. Okay, that's the end of my presentation. Any question, please let me know freely. Thanks a lot.